Oof, good morning, folks, and welcome back to the channel. We are not in Canada anymore. That's right, our state that we hunt in has opened up for ducks finally. So happy opening weekend of ducks. It feels good to be back on the home turf doing some hunting. And the other day I was doing some scouting using the Onyx Hunt app, and I actually found a little cattle pond that looked like a pretty good loaf of teal, gaddies, widgeon, and mallards. A lot of mallards. We're hoping to get some of those today. But any user, we got myself, Sam Lehman, and my dad, Mike Lehman. We're going to go out here and do just a little family three-man hunt. I'm pretty excited because I don't get to hunt with my dad that much. So this is going to be kind of like a special little hunt. We're going to just go out here and send it. But another thing that gets me really excited is Tide, we just came out with some brand new waders. These are the Quest Wade waders, and I am freaking excited to wear these today. Sam's gonna be wearing them as well. As you can see, we have the pretty cool veil camo right there. Looks nice and sleek. And then just going through these waders, we have a nice waterproof zipper, easy access to take on or off. And then we also have two pockets right in the front here on the chest. You can throw a phone, chapstick, a duck call, whatever you need inside there, as well as some shotgun shells right on the other side. So if you need a fast reload, bam, you got it right there. Another cool thing is on the inside of the waders, there's another little pocket right there. And again, you can throw whatever you need in there. We have reinforced shin pads right there. So this is where you probably do the most friction rubbing uh, on things. And having this, you know, little more durability right there is gonna be nice, especially if you are gonna be kneeling. And for the boot, you just got a 1200 Thinsulate boot. It's gonna keep you nice and warm throughout the whole season. You can wear these anywhere from September all the way into February hunts. It's gonna be very nice. And then just the adjustable straps up top, they're gonna be nice and adjustable, but they also are going to be nice and comfy when they sit on your shoulder. So if you guys are in the market for some new waders for this season, you just busted a hole in your last pair, you need to check out the Quest Wades. Make sure to use our code MINDAC012 to save some money. And yeah, guys, happy hunting. But myself and Sam and my dad, we have a lot to do right now. We gotta pack up these sleds. We are gonna, we brought an A-frame today, so we're gonna do an A-frame hunt. Uh, have the water decoys, for some reason you guys love the water videos, so we're gonna be grinding those for the next couple days. We have about a 400 yard walk, but luckily using the Onyx Hunt app, I saw that there was a goat trail that we can walk on, so it's not like we're gonna be, you know, freaking Rambo style in the Amazon rainforest, chopping down some freaking tall trees to get there. It looks like we'll have a nice little walk there. Um, and then we're going to set up on the pond. No wind today, but you know, we're just going to see what happens. But again, guys, if you guys want to check out the Onyx Hunt app, that'll also be linked down below. Make sure you use our code MINDAC at checkout. You guys can set 20% off an elite membership, or you guys can scan this little QR code right here. It's going to bring you right to the cart with our promo code already automatically in there. Enough talking. Let's go on. All right, well, since it is dark outside, I'm gonna periodically check the Onyx Hunt app to make sure we're on the right trail. But I think we have about a 400 yard walk or so. So we're definitely gonna get a workout in this morning.
Alrighty folks, we just got set up. We brought the old high vert down here and two dozen decoys, we threw those out. I'll show you the spread once it gets a little lighter outside. But again, we're doing a three man hunt on a little cattle pond. But I'm gonna hold the camera for a little bit, do some filming on the big camera, let Sam and my dad shoot, and then I'm sure I'll pick up the gun eventually. Yeah, Bubba. I love sleuth. You love water greebling? You know, this actually ain't a bad sleuth, so I'm not gonna be too mad about it. Dad, everybody's been missing you on the channel. Oh. <laughs> Are you excited to be back duck hunting with the boys? I am. It's been a while. Do you think you're going to be shooting okay today, or is it going to we'll take a see. little bit? We'll see. I didn't get out uh, dove hunting, so who knows? <laughs> Let me see you hit another practice. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Don't be stumbling now. <laughs> I might be able to get that one. The classic Mike Lehman warm-ups. <laughs> Gotta love it. Shoot him, Dad. You stud. <laughs> Shoot him, Dad. I can't. Shoot him. Nice shot, Michael. Well, it's about 20 minutes into shooting time and a bunch of birds flying around. There's no wind, so these birds are literally just flying. They don't even know what they want to do. They're just circling everything, not really landing, doing typical duck things. Um, kind of sucks, but we're gonna sit here and hopefully get some that want to play. But it's still fun watching all these birds. Michael got to shoot a couple, so that's always a good time. Shoot him, man. All right, it's going a little bit better. We pushed the decoys out a little bit, brushed in the A-frame a little bit better, but we're getting some shots. Birds are still acting a little bit weird. I think I'm gonna put the GoPro on and start shooting now. No, right here. Shoot him. Kill him. Well, that'll do, boys. <laughs> that'll do. Shoot that down. <laughs> well doing a little pickup right now it seems like most of our ducks today are gad well but they're starting to decoy a little bit better so you know can't complain we're picking away at them slowly but surely picking away <sighs> oh I love water hunting <sighs> this sucks <sighs> hell yeah
Why are they hanging out over there on the outside? Kill him, Dad. Oh, he's still flying. Nice. Well, these ducks, like I said, are being weird. Doing some weird things. But we had two come over and I got one of them, so that's good. All right, well, the one that I just shot was a Drake Mallard. We'll take that. We're just picking away at them. Only got a couple more to finish out, but yeah, that's not bad. Are these more Drake's behind them? No. That is a young Drake, ain't it? Oh, I no way I didn't hit the triple. Well, we had a little lull right there, and then all of a sudden I saw some birds come in. It was a, two singles. I kind of passed on them because I saw a bigger group of the mallards working their way back. Good thing I did. I had like three drakes to shoot at, and I could tell they were drakes because one, their chest, they have the little brown uh, right there. So I saw, I identified that. I also saw a little bit of a yellow beak. So I got two drakes down, should have had the triple, but Hey, I'm fine shooting some of them. Oh yeah, just some young drakes. Look at that, that is awesome. I'm a Drake killer. What is that? Hey, come over here. Oh. I was trying to get back in the freaking blind. <sighs> I'm dead tired. The duck came flying over me. <sighs> well, I had to shoot a Susie to close out my limit. You already know. Well, that'll do, boys. That will do. Ended up with our three man limit. Gaddies. A couple shovies and some mallards. Well, we just got done finishing up, cleaning up a little bit, and we got our three man limit. It didn't seem like it was really hot and heavy. Uh, it was a lot of just picking away at birds. They weren't really liking us right away in the morning, but then surprisingly, as the sun came up, it kind of shined on our decoys, and the wind started coming out a little bit more, and we started to get them a little bit better. But that was fun. It was a good time hanging out with my brother and my dad. Like I said, I don't get to hunt my dad that much. So bringing him out here was a lot of fun. Dad, did you have a fun morning? I did. How First. was? How would you rate it on a scale of one to 10? Well, it'd be a 10 except, uh, you know, my shooting was kind of mediocre. So I'd probably have to go with an eight and a half. So Sam and I were talking, you shoot better at the birds that are flying straight away from you like a pheasant we noticed that today you didn't shoot very good when they come right at you but if it was like a pheasant you were knocking that thing dead so you're a big pheasant grinder i guess
But this was our high today. We brought out the dive bomb high vert and there's just ducks <laughs> dumping in around here. And this was our little cattle pond that we were hunting. Not bad, not bad at all. Pretty cool. We might come back here and hunt later in the year. And there's Sam working hard in them tide wee waders. Oh yeah. What up, Bobs? You have fun? No. But I am going to finish cleaning everything up and then we're gonna go back home and I'm gonna cook some of these mallards up because I am freaking hungry and some mallards sound delicious. Many hours later. Oh baby. Look at them mallard titties. Uh-huh. You know we had to leave the fat on. That's the only way to cook duck. Mm-hmm. Alrighty folks, I am starting to get a little bit hungry. It's about 6.30 p.m. I'm watching some NFL. Skull Vikes, by the way, 3 and no, baby. What's up with that? What's good, Sammy D? Anyways, we are going to make some dinner and I thought, you know what? I might as well go bougie. So tonight for the menu, we're gonna have some duck steaks as well as some asparagus, onions, and potatoes. Check it out. If you take a look over here, whoo baby. Oh yeah, we got some asparagus, onions, seasonings, butter, and potatoes in there. We're doing a little slow cook right now, getting a little steamage, and then I'll probably do a sear on these sons of guns in a bit. But I'm gonna show you guys how I like to cook my mallards or any duck. Basically, I plucked the breast as you can see and we have the fat on these now the fat is very essential because it just tastes so much better when you render it down and you cook the duck in it it just it just trust me so pluck your birds and then dry them out and then if you go over here I have my cast iron and it's actually in the fridge because when you cook duck you want to use a cold pan or you know, a skillet of some sort. And that is because you want the fat to render slowly, not fast. That's why you gotta make sure you have a cold skillet or a cold pan. But I'm gonna season these up, put them inside here, and start cooking my dinner. All right, so we have our duck breast here and we're gonna hit it with a little seasoning. Now, I've seen a lot of people, they like to score the fat, but I'm not gonna do that just because I don't trust this knife, it's too dull. So we're just gonna go for it. I got some salt and pepper seasoning. I'm pretty sure it's just salt and pepper mixed together. Maybe a little bit of onion powder or garlic, and that's okay. But we're just gonna give this a nice dousing. Oh yeah. All right, go for a flip and season this side. Those mallards look so good. I'm actually surprised on how much fat were on these early season birds. Kind of cool. Now that we have these sons of guns seasoned up, I turned the heater on to a medium high heat. And again, you want to render this slowly at first. So we're going to take our duck and put it skin side down inside of this pan and hopefully just some magic starts happening. We're gonna have that fat start to render, and then we can crank the heat up in a bit and get a pretty good sear on them. But, oh my gosh, I am excited. This is going to be delicious. All right, it's been about five minutes or so. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit here and we're gonna go for a flip. As you can see, like all the fat, it's been rendering around it and we love that. We'd love to see that. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's looking good. So basically now, we're just gonna watch these and check the temp in, oh, roughly I'd say 
probably three minutes or so, and I want to get that internal to about 125-ish, and then I'm going to pull it and rest them until they get to about 130, 135 or so, medium rare. So that's the plan. Hopefully this tastes good. All right, well, it is freaking smokier than hell inside of my apartment now. Love that. But we got the duck breast done. I might have let them rest a little bit too long. We'll see. But dude, these things look absolutely phenomenal. Oh my. Look at that. Look at that plate. Now the moment of truth that you guys are looking forward to. See what it looks like on the inside. Hopefully I did these okay. Oh yeah. I did these money. Oh my gosh. Those look so so good. Yes, sir. Yes, freaking sir. I don't know if you guys can see this, but perfect medium rare. Oh my gosh. These look phenomenal. I'm going to lay these out all nice like, and then show you guys the finished product. But the original, the OG cut, it looks good. Holy freaking Chupapi Munieño. I went crazy tonight. I even went all carnivore style and put it on a cool little chopping block, but oh my gosh. Dude, this just looks phenomenal. Our duck, I don't think could have been any more perfect. Hopefully the lighting is doing it justice. Medium rare, potatoes, asparagus, let's get it. All right, I'm stoked for this, like super stoked. Look at that little piece of mallard right there. Just was flying this morning. Had to give it the old one, two. Fellas, we are eating like kings tonight. Ah, this camera sucks, but. Oh! For those of you that say, oh, duck and goose is nasty. It tastes so gamey. Y'all just don't know how to cook. Honestly, that's what it comes down to. This tastes like steak. This is what I do with a lot of my ducks. That is so good. But I'm gonna sit down and enjoy the rest of this meal and then watch my fantasy team take a L tonight, which kind of sucks, rest in peace. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It was a fun one. Uh, you know, I don't get to get out with my dad that much, so it's always a good time going out with him. And you know, shooting ducks over water, I don't really like it, to be honest with you, but you guys seem to for some reason, so we're just gonna do it if you guys like it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.